All right, our next caller is Jason from Florida. Hey, what's up, Jason? What's your what's question? Jason? Hey, guys. Uh, Jason down at uh, Jacksonville Beach. Uh, just uh, wrote in to ask a question about um, how I should train in my home gym to uh, get kind of my uh, swing back. I've been playing some softball with uh, some guys my age lately, and I'm not hitting the ball as hard as I used to and uh, would like to, uh, you know, improve my game a little bit. And then uh, also been taking up stand-up paddleboarding and I'm um, interested in how I can train at home to, uh, you know, kind of work on my balance while still being able to, uh, you know, uh, paddle powerfully while maintaining my balance on the board. Let me uh, explain what that is for Sal. Sal, that's the stick <laughs> and uh, the, it's a bigger ball that they use. Oh, okay. And then the, the paddle boarding is like a surfboard and then they, 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 they like row on yes. top of okay. standing up. All right. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Where do you notice the breakdown in those things? Like, I mean, have you done them before? Are you new to them or is this something you did before? You getting... I played baseball and then as a kid and softball as an adult, but took a, a long break when I started having kids. Um, so, uh, I used to play softball and I just used to be able to hit a lot better than I am. Um, I don't know if, um, my swings off or I'm just not as strong as I used to be. Yeah. So you're and one of those, uh, paddle you're boarding one of, is a whole new thing. I've learned. You're one of those assholes that come out to the softball field with a, with a, ba- a baseball background and beat the shit out of all of us weekend warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ass handed. I got my ass handed to me for, from teams just like you, full of a bunch of ex baseball players playing softball out there, whip, whipping all of us dads up. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm, that's about all I am anymore. It's just uh, just dad out there on the field. <laughs> awesome. Well, so okay, so uh, so a couple things, Jason. Um, number one, and I'm sure Justin will get into this because he's the uh, you know the biggest athlete of the group. But I, I would say. Nothing is going to get you better at a skill than practicing that skill. So what you do in the gym, uh, and we'll get into that, you know, in terms of what exercises can complement what you're trying to do, but nothing is going to be in the gym that you do is going to be as effective as just practicing the skill of swinging and mm-hmm. doing the paddle board. Yeah, definitely go through uh, in terms of the skill of swing. Uh, do you notice anything like a loss of power? Uh, do you notice like any kind of hitch in your swing now? Is there anything different that uh, you, you can pinpoint basically? Well, uh, it may just be my swing motion. I, I think I'm hitting it fairly hard, um, but uh, I'm not getting any lift on the ball anymore. Uh, everything's on the ground. So, uh uh, I'm hitting hard grounders, but I can't seem to hit those line drives mm-hmm. uh, like I like. I do. Okay, and, and in in terms of like uh, mobility, and I know over over time, uh, you know, we sort of form into these certain positions throughout the day, which changes our mechanics uh, with everything, and so that may be something to address in terms of pulling everything back into optimal posture, and then uh, seeing if we can then uh, really drive that leg drive and get, uh, you know, that power back to, to really promote, uh, more of that, more of that power into the ball. Well, what about Justin? what about some of like your, I mean, you've taught me some really cool landmine exercises and some anti-rotational stuff right. for what he, what he's doing. Yeah. So a couple things, uh, so for rotation and anti-rotation as well, being able to really anchor your body down into that position, something I've worked with, you know, even getting back into baseball with, with my son, uh, noticing just how much, you know, kids really needed to learn how to anchor their, their body down and really be able to get that, uh, power through, uh, you know, through their feet and through their legs and getting those hips to really respond. So, uh, being able to really secure, uh, and, and get that core strength and everything to, to brace properly and then release with speed, uh, is everything. So once you just kind of go back and I don't know, do you do much rotational work or much rotational strengthening exercises? Uh, no, I really haven't been. I've just been doing, you know, basic lifting here in my home gym with the, uh, you know, squat rack and barbell and some dumbbells. Jason, would you would you consider yourself tight? Would you say that you're a bit tight if you were to twist really hard or maybe tightness in your hips or the the back of your legs? Yeah, everything's pretty tight. I uh, I listen to your all's advice about uh about uh stretching and maps prime. I can't I can't say I've uh, adhered to it too well. So yeah, I'm yeah. definitely kind of a bigger guy and, and definitely tight these days. I feel like performance, man. Yeah. yeah performance so would be huge. I've, I've worked with, uh, so I, I don't, I never, I never played a lot of baseball, but I did do a lot of boxing and there's a lot of rotation involved in the power. Oftentimes people lack power, not because they're not strong, but rather because 
their their tightness is preventing them from really generating that twisting, rotating power. I would work a, a lot on ankle, foot, and hip, uh, and then back mobility. That will make the biggest difference. As far as strength is concerned, first I would focus on mobility because getting stronger without mobility isn't going to make a big difference. But work on mobility, and then I would do rotational exercises. Uh, MAPS Performance has quite a few of those, especially in the second, I believe the second and third phase uh, of the program. You combine mobility with rotational strength, um, and then of course the technique, and you should see a huge difference. Yeah, you really want to just iron out like any anything getting in the way of natural fluid movement. And so to be able to kind of bring it back and, and do f- checks on all your joints to make sure they have nice fluid rotation and they respond pro- appropriately and you also have access to them and can brace and strengthen uh, to support your joints, uh, it, it may seem uh, like you're regressing, but honestly, that's going to give you the most performance and bang for your buck out there in the field. This is why we're going to hook you up for free with Maps Performance because I think it, it being scheduled into your it sounds like you 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 know that you've heard it from us, but then you haven't implemented it into your routine. It's built into Maps Performance. You have uh, you know every other day is a mobility day. So you doing the mobility stuff with all the unilateral and rotational stuff that we have in performance, I think would be, you'd benefit a ton. Totally. And one last thing, Jason, the way you train mobility is different than the way you train strength. So with strength, you go into the gym, you lift heavy, hard for an hour. You do that, you know, a few days a week with mobility, you're better off doing 10 to 15 minute sessions twice a day. So frequency is very important with mobility and I would suggest uh, attaching it to something that you already do. So uh, maybe like 15 minutes uh, before breakfast um, and you know 10 minutes before bed. Do that every single day. Within a week, you should notice a difference. Okay, great. Excellent, man. Thanks for the support, brother. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, one thing that I learned in uh, jiu-jitsu and the very little boxing uh, that I did was I would train for – strength and performance in the gym and i would forget that 90 percent of it came from the technique and skill right oh, yeah. you know so it's like i wanted to get better at a throw in judo practicing the throw would be anything i could do in the gym that's why it's so complex because every sport has all kinds of nuanced uh, movements that really you know like uh, is very specific to that sport and so to be able to unlock the movements is everything and to, the only way to do that really is to to make sure you have good mobility and totally. stability